Uh, all right, time for the mix. Um, what we got here first? We got opening day, and people talk about baseball, but they also want to talk about the food at the ballpark. Uh, that, that, you know, in some ways that is the best part, but, but take a look at this. You know, you step aside old hot dogs, peanuts, and popcorn. Stadiums are stepping it up a little bit. Forget those old school staples. We're talking about chicken fried bacon. A uh, little pizza burger maybe, maybe some pulled pork mac and cheese sandwich with creamy mustard sauce. I mean, I don't know, that all looks wait, pretty good to me. What, is, what do we have, what is this one? What was the second one you said? That is, that's the pizza burger. The pizza burger. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I'm sure that's good for you too, it looks great. And this is the, this is what? That is your pulled pork okay, mac and cheese sandwich. And okay, don't forget the stuff. creamy mustard slaw on top. So you have a little vegetable mixed in there too. Okay, if you, yeah, I'm good with that if you take the stuff off the top. And that no bacon. Greens. Bacon. Somebody was brilliant enough to chicken fry bacon. Why not? You can chicken fry anything, man. Man, that's what I love about this country. Boy, <laughs> we are some innovative folks around here, aren't we? Um, i got to take you over to Spain now. Uh, people love their hiking trails. Well, they're excited to get back on one that's been closed for 15 years. Well, why would it be closed? Well, because people were falling off the sucker. Uh, well, 15 years ago, two people at least died that we know of. It's 1999 and 2000. This trail over in Spain. So it's been closed for 15 years. They just reopened it. They reopened it because, well, if you take a look here, some of these, you know, some of those safety barriers that you see now weren't necessarily there. This thing's been actually been around for 100 years. And this is about 30 plus stories above a river there. You see that? Now, people love this. They go there, thrill seekers. They used to at least, but it was it was kind of dangerous. And so now they have reopened it finally. A lot of people are excited about it. It's a great wonder of the world, so to speak. It's beautiful. There you go. There's a perspective. That's what Ooh. you're looking down at. But they've now spent about $6 million adding some safety barriers to this thing. It's safer. But 15 years, it was closed, finally reopened. Um, but it was a little dangerous. I don't know. I don't, I don't do heights so much. I, don't, uh, I, I might stay off of that I'm one. I'm with you, sister. Now, TJ, I know you like to keep this, this program a little clean, but it is time well, who told you that? for the peep show. <laughs> That's right. The everyone's favorite Easter egg candy now uh, shown in a different light. Uh, people making new dioramas and caricatures of those beloved peeps. There is uh, tell me that's Kim the Kardashian, Kardashian the paper oh, mag Lord. cover, and, and there, oh, the Mona Lisa. Oh, showing off, showing off her, her, her eyes, that famous stare in the peep version. And of course, was it blue and black or white and gold? Uh, the dilemma continues. It was, it was blue and black, by the way, everybody. <laughs> Just to settle this once again, it was blue and it was black. Now we had one more video here for you. We, we're going to save it. We're going to save it for tomorrow. Let me just say it was a dog with a paddle in its hand. Just stick around. We'll keep it. What a tease. Tomorrow.